Assalamualaikum and salam chatra. Welcome to IS 205 lecture series. Um, this video is to explain or show you how to uh, prepare a depreciation schedule. This schedule need to be done for each and individual item of your non-current asset because some of the asset uh, are bought at a different time frame, a different years or different months. So that's why you need to prepare for each item and the cost and the salvage value but or the estimated useful life probably different from each item. So that's why you need to prepare. In what you have learned in FAWA 10 to prepare the uh, the, num the number of depositions for that year, you only has um, uh, the total <coughs> value of uh, the non current asset. For example, you took um, a physical uh, value, a cost value, and multiply with the uh, percentage of depreciations, and you will get that uh, depreciations for the year. However, in real life, you need to prepare this deposition schedule for each item. For example, I give you in uh, in this video and the example I give you is, for example, the number of asset. The, the na asset number is the ID number for each individual item of the non-current asset. And the asset name is the display cabinet. Uh, probably it's longer uh, uh, specifically which display cabinet that you're referring to and then you will have the data of what um, when did they purchased and the cost of it and what are the methods for depreciating the value of that particular this particular display cabinet for example we choose straight line method and what is this salvage value uh, for this display cabinet? It says here is a hundred ringgit, and the useful life, uh, the display cabinet life is for five. Lasts will be for five years, so you will have this um, uh, down here. The depreciation schedule. Uh, so you will specifically now what is the number of years we have number one two uh, uh, three uh, uh, because uh, wait, um, so you have five years for this particular asset and depreciation expenses you use a trade line so you do not need to calculate with the calculator you just need to uh, use the formula as been given in the excel okay for you will type uh, search sln that is for the straight line method formula embedded inside uh, the excel then you will have this straight line method function argument the cost and type twenty five thousand is the cost that uh, been given to you for this display cabinet, and the salvage value is a hundred ringgit, and the life is five. Then you have the uh, straight line method for each year is four nine eight zero. Okay. You can copy down so each year for Srila method is the same, right? So you do not have to worry uh, using if you want to use the uh, normal method, uh, the cost multiplied with the percentage of uh, is much easier. And the accumulated division must be quoted because each year you will um, take this figure and to be accumulated with other uh, uh, equipment so that uh, will be posted in the uh, office equipment accumulated depreciations for the year. 
So the, uh, the formula for the first year, it will be equal to the position for the year. But the next year, you will take the balances and plus the position for this year. And you can copy down the formula. Okay, you will see that y at the end of it, at the end of year 5, the total of um, accumulated deposition, even though you already have um, the useful life is um, for five years, it should be zero here, right? I mean, and 25,000, but it's three here, 24,900. But this calculation, because you're using uh, a formula, uh, so you will have the 100 ringgit is actually the salvage value so in the end if you uh, plus 24,900 plus the salary value so it should be 25,000 so uh, uh, at the end of the year 5 then it will be 25,000 if you do not want to use the one, two, three, four, five for the year, you can change it to two o one. Let's say this is two one oh five, so two one five. Yeah, because it's bought from January, so first January to thirty first thirty first December of twenty fifteen. So the, that is the this is the the possession expenses. So you can copy the uh, sorry. Okay. Then come to twenty sixteen. So you actually you can um, uh, salvage the, uh, this particular uh, display cabinet um, for the for twenty nine in twenty at the end of the twenty twenty you can dispose this uh, display cabinet. Another schedule that uh, should be in this um, is being maintained for non-current asset by the non-current uh, uh, asset custodian is the maintenance cost. The sum of, uh, for example, machineries or vehicles, um, the non-current asset custodian must keep track how much is the maintenance cost for each year so if the maintenance cost is escalating means that it's no longer wise to maintain that particular non-current asset let's have a look for using if you use the reducing balance method okay i have here the the asset number is 2105 the asset name is computers and the date of purchase is 1st January 2016. The cost is 15,500 and the position method used reducing balance the salvage value is 500 and estimated useful life is 6. So the same uh, we have the, um, the, the Different uh, the depreciation schedule again. You have the column of year depreciation expenses for the year and accumulated depreciation for that year. Okay, we start with 2016 because um, it bought in 2016. Okay, and the next is 2017. So you can uh, highlight them and copy down until the six years one two three four five six so depreciation expenses using the reducing balance method so the formula you can use from function uh, it, the function for reducing balance method is db, declining balance, db, you can go, you have a db, 
click OK. So you will have uh, this window. We have the cost, salvage value, life, how many useful life here, and the period. So if you reduce the balance, the reduce the uh, reducing balance method by monthly, so you have the month. Okay, so the cost here, so we, okay, we assume this computer will be using the reducing balance method by the year, so you can ignore the month part. Okay, the cost is 15500 and the selfish value is 500 and the life is 6 and the first year you can put one and click OK. Okay, this is the depreciation expenses for the year. So for the next year, it should be the number at the end of it is uh, uh, second. I mean the second year. You can copy down the formula but you can you must change for the period so this is the second um, this is for the third this is for the, oops sorry the four five and um, this is for the six there you go. So the accumulated depreciation again using the formula. The first year must be the same with the uh, depreciation expenses. So the accumulated uh, depreciation for the second year, uh, you will took the amount of accumulated depreciation for first year plus the depreciation expenses for the year. Uh, that is the accumulated depreciation for that year. Then copy down the formula, and here you have um, uh, three decimal points, so you can change into the accounting of currency. You see accounting, so you will have. Oops, you come up with a pound. Uh, you can change it later. So you can change to RM so the, go to the format cell yes, this is currency symbol you can find the Malaysian uh, ringgit Malaysia. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? R R R R C H G H A M R. There you are. Click OK. You can have this R M. Okay. Um. You can try out the other uh, uh, example, which is this, uh, in the same uh, file that I shared with you. Then that's it. How uh, lectures on the depreciations. See you for the next video. Uh, for the next topic, we will continue with. Um, computerized accounting software in the next video. Bye-bye.